Hola, a bullet come through right here. Yeah. So from what you've heard, do you believe that Tren de Aragua have came here? De lo que ha escuchado, ¿cree que Tren de Aragua ha llegado aquí? Por lo que se escucha, dicen que es el tren. Es una gran posibilidad que sí. Sí. When you guys got here to America, did you think you guys would be living in conditions like this? No. And right here in this window, it's obvious that a bullet Ooh. was shot right through okay, there. Okay, okay. So do you believe that gang activity is actually happening here? Like um, bullets, we've seen videos of migrants well, that do have guns. Can I say this? This neighborhood technically always has shootings. Like, this is my thing is, there was a shooting two nights ago. They blamed it straight on the Venezuelans. That This neighborhood has always had shootings. But what I'll say about it is, um, yes, when you have people, if they have bad motives and they want to secure, this is a foundation if they do, um, they will cause hecticness. But what I'm saying is, this neighborhood has always had these issues and they're blaming blame it on the Venezuelan. Now the Venezuelans, um, they came here and they found free rent, free housing. Because the, cause the owners of these places are not, they never, they really were slumlords. So people were already living here, drug addicts, prostitutes, but this was an easy place for them to come and say, hey, we're gonna move in and not pay rent. That's what it is. Has the city done anything? Have they called on any other gangs in the city? Because we know that Denver, you know, like you said, there's a lot of gangs here. Have they called on the gang to try and come maybe fight these Venezuelan gangs? And that's the situation is that after the police didn't come in here and raid these places, if there was so, if there was a lot of problems like there was, people started calling on the local gangs. You guys should go confront them. Like, this is your neighborhoods. When you think about it, it it's like, bro, they wanted people to come over here and start basically a war. Let's let's turn this up and have conflicts where they can actually have something to say, hey, it's going crazy over there. Yeah, why don't the police come in here instead of the other gangs? I, I couldn't even tell you that. That's why when I see all this stuff, why didn't the gangs, when they had the footage of the dudes with the guns, right? If it was gangbangers, like gangbangers, they would have came in here and raided the whole situation and this place would have been flipped because Colorado, Denver, they, they put gangbangers on the terrorist list. But they seen this on the footage and they didn't even come in here. So I don't, it's and kind it of like. There hasn't been one single arrest since that video took no. place. No. And these fools had had their masks, their faces was uncovered. But if it was some gangbangers, they definitely going to come in here. They going to indict the whole neighborhoods around here, you know? Mm -hmm. So do you think it could have been an inside job by the people that run the government here in Denver? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm getting to. It, it's deeper than just in Venezuela's invading. It's like these dudes set this up. That's how I feel. Where